Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets YouTube tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a live stream on YouTube using Streamlabs OBS. Streamlabs OBS is a free software and allows you to make a really great looking stream that's interactive with your viewers. If you get lost throughout this tutorial, check the description because I'll have all the steps and links listed down there. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is go to streamlabs.com or check the link in the description for that and go to download beta. Once you get to streamlabs.com, go ahead and select download beta. All right, so real quick while it's downloading, as you can see down here, Ninja currently uses Streamlabs OBS for streaming. So that just kind of shows how popular this software actually is. Once Streamlabs OBS has finished downloading, and as you can see, it's only about 190 megabytes, go ahead and open it up and begin the installation process. We're gonna select yes to allow Streamlabs OBS to make changes to our computer. Go in and select I agree. Then we're gonna use the default installation location. And now Streamlabs OBS is installing. And after this, we'll go through the setup process. Now just ensure that the checkbox next to run Streamlabs OBS is checked and then hit finish. So the first thing we wanna do once we get into Streamlabs OBS is just go into login right here. As you can see, you can use Streamlabs OBS with different streaming platforms. We're gonna do YouTube and we'll be asked to log into YouTube. So you just have to log into your account. Now, while you're logging into Google through Streamlabs, you're going to have to allow Streamlabs to have access to YouTube. And this access includes the ability to edit and delete YouTube videos because it has to have that ability to create a live stream on YouTube. It'll also be able to view your YouTube account and information about it. So go to allow. Now that we have Streamlabs OBS installed to our computer and linked to our YouTube account, I want to do a quick overview of the layout of Streamlabs OBS. So right here, this big black area is going to be a preview of what your stream will look like. We currently have nothing configured in Streamlabs OBS, so it's just a black rectangle. But once everything's configured, you can monitor your stream here. Down on the bottom left here, we have sources and scenes. So scenes are a group of sources. Sources can be anything from maybe your computer screen, a webcam, or even a microphone and you add those different sources to a scene, and that scene is what is the stream that's then pushed to YouTube. So what that means is if I added maybe a desktop and I wanted my webcam in the bottom right, and I wanted my audio from my microphone, all those sources together would create the stream that would look like a normal live stream on maybe Twitch or YouTube Live, things like that. Over here on the right side, you have your mixers, and this is gonna show you the different audio levels and different possible sources of audio. So, so right now, it's just picking up my microphone and desktop audio. Desktop audio would be anything that's played on your computer, such as a game or anything on maybe a movie, something like that, including YouTube. But you can turn those down, mute them right here, control all of that right there. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a new scene and then get started with adding some sources to that. So right here over by scenes, go ahead and select the plus symbol to add a new scene. I'm gonna name it Gaging Gadgets. Press done. So now that the scene has been created, we need to go over and add a source. And we'll do that by pressing the plus symbol right here next to sources. As you can see, you have two different types of sources. You have standard and you have widgets. Standard is gonna be the building blocks of your stream, such as webcams, any game you wanna stream, your desktop, browsers, text, images, things like that. Widgets over here will be actual Streamlabs widgets. So these can add a lot of really cool things to your stream, such as way to interact with your viewers live or show live information about your stream, such as how many viewers or subscribers you have. All that's gonna be available over here and I'll have individual tutorials going over those. But as you can see, you put viewer count or chat box, different things like that that'll monitor your stream and provide updated information on your stream. First source we're gonna add though is going to be display capture because I wanna be able to show my desktop on my stream. After you select a display capture, go ahead and select add source. You can name it and then select add new source. Down here in the drop down, if you had multiple monitors, you wanna select your monitor right here and then select done. So as you can see right here in the preview box, we've now added our desktop to the preview. So you can see that now, this is what the live stream will look like. The next source we're going to add is a webcam. I'm gonna do a webcam, so I'll be selecting video capture, but you'd also use this for any kind of capture cards. If you're going to stream an Xbox or PS4, or anything like that, you would do that through video capture device. Go ahead and select add source, and then add new source. Right here, we can select the different webcam or capture card, anything like that, and then make changes to that actual device. I'm going to be using my secondary webcam because I'm using my first one to film this video. So please excuse it, it looks a little strange. Go ahead and select done. And right here we can see the source on our preview right here. We can move it around by dragging and dropping it. I'm gonna put it in the bottom right. And then we can resize it by grabbing the corners down here. So I'll make it a little smaller. So now we kind of have a stream going. We have the desktop and we have a webcam. Next, let's look through the different sources and I'm gonna add a text source. But before that, I wanna tell you what each of these are. 
So image and image slideshow, there's gonna add an image or a slideshow of images. And we have browser source, this is what you would use to add anything from your browser. So if you're watching a video in a browser, or you wanna show a website, anything like that, you would do that through there. Display capture, we've gone through that. Game capture, this is where you, if you're playing a game on your PC, you can use this source to capture that game and put it on your stream. Audio input, that's a microphone. If you have anything like that, like I have a Blue Yeti, I'm using that. Scene, if you already have a scene saved down here, you can actually import that into your source. Pretty cool. Color would just be adding a color panel to your stream. Media source is gonna be any video file, image file, anything like that. Text, we'll get into that. That's just adding a text to your stream. Window capture will be any application or computer. So you could do Spotify or anything like that, even browsers. Video capture device, webcam, capture card, or audio output, which is just your desktop audio. So we'll go to the text source right here to add a quick text, just so you can see how you can make your stream unique. Then we'll go to add source. You can name the source. Under the settings for the text source, this is where the preview is right here. Then we can add some text under the text box. So I'm gonna do gauging gadgets. I'm gonna change the font to Comic Sans because that's the best font. Make it nice and bold. We can change the font size, make it a little bigger. And then we can change the color here. I'm gonna go with a nice blue. All right, so after that you have some of the alignment, maybe background, you can add a background to the text. But I'm done with the text. And as you can see right here, we have the text box created. We can move it around or make it larger. I'm gonna make it nice and large so people know they're on the Gaging Gadget stream. And for my final source, I'm just going to add a viewer count. So this will allow my stream to show exactly how many viewers are watching it. Just go down under the widgets and select viewer count, and we could do add source. So it's really easy to add this. As you can see, there's a preview right here. And once you have it configured, just click back to Streamlabs and you'll see it right here in the corner. I'm gonna add it right here so it's easy to see. And now once we have all of our sources and scenes configured, we just need to go to the bottom right of Streamlabs and I moved the window so you can see it around my webcam and go to go live. It gives you another option to add a title, description, gauging gadgets, test. And once we're ready, go to confirm and go live. So right here you can see it says starting the stream and now it says live. It also gives us the health of the stream and then we can actually see what the stream looks like. So you can see everything that we configured in the stream, such as the text, my webcam down here, even what the desktop looks like. So that's my browser window, all that. And then on the dashboard here, we can see how long we've been live streaming and the amount of viewers we have. Now, if we go back to Streamlabs OBS, you'll be able to see different milestones or events that happen to you. So when people subscribe, things like that. You can also see the chat going on on YouTube. And to end our stream, all we need to do go to end stream right here in the bottom right click that now when we go back to YouTube we'll see this live go to offline like it did right there so now our stream has ended that's how you start a YouTube live stream using Streamlabs OBS if you have any questions about this leave a comment below I'll get back to you as soon as I can if you'd like to see more YouTube or Streamlabs tutorial videos check the link in the description if this video helped you give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.